Very nice. Now hind quarters. And many times they're teaching us in round pen never teach horse to face of his hind quarters in the round pen. That's a very bad habit. I always said, so let's not communicate with horses from the hind end. Not touch his hips, not groom the tail, not touch the legs. Let's not be around the horse, hind course, if it's so dangerous. So education actually starts from the ramp and again, when we educate horse facing with front end and with hind end. And after develop extended touch behind the horse hind course and combine forward motion with the flat. So when other rider will gonna come behind the horse from the back, my horse gonna stay still not gonna get upset and not gonna run forward. Come on. Very good, sweetheart. Come on, baby. Try to run. Stay right here. Very good, baby. Hello guys, Ross Crushing here and we're having Grace today and I continue to share with you Grace education. She's a two years old filly and today I kind of share with you my, uh, my idea, my theory, my philosophy, how to develop confidence with flag and reason behind each exercise. Why I apply this, uh, why I apply this uh, exercise with flag and how I develop horse mental abilities so horse gonna be confident in the future that's the most important from all this education we develop confidence with flag so horse control emotion in the forward motion because everything what we're gonna do with our horses we're gonna <laughs> even groom our horses in a, in a, in the cross tie horse can be spooked and it's well gonna be involved forward motion. So horse have to control the fear actually, control this anxiety in the forward motion. Mother Nature when teach horses, this animal, to use surviving instinct. And when you're scared, she even running much faster to survive and be safe in their life. So this whole idea behind all this exercise in stay still in the forward motion with flag that's very important horse in the future. I'm gonna mount the horse. I'm gonna put leg around the horse. I'm gonna put saddle, I'm gonna put saddle pad. I'm gonna groom my horse. I'm gonna trail ride in the windy days, in the sunny days, in the rainy days. Deer is gonna go through the fields. Other riders gonna to come towards me, behind me from the side of my horse. So horse truly have to control emotion with all these moving objects. So it's very important to understand for us and why I'm sharing with you this so you can truly understand how horse was educated because when you gonna purchase this animal, you're gonna understand her brain and how she was educated and understand actually methods. So before we're gonna start to educate, horse have to control, uh, teach horse to control motions flag, horse have to know how to stay still, just like this in the open space. And again, it's not with domination left and right to move horse left and right direction, so horse gonna be tired and stay still. That's actually education from the round pen, educate horse from discovered philosophy in round pen, to educate horse to stop and face. Again, not halters, not ropes. Forward motion. And we're gonna ask a stop and face right here. Right now, I'm gonna ask a fix your shoulders, please. Right here, and stay still. So when horse actually be asking her to walk forward and stop and stay still, she have to accept my presence towards her with flag. When I walk towards her with flag, she have to stay still and accept that. Again, I'm not restricting her, not hiding my eyes down, not my energy down. Horse truly have to stay still and accept me when I walk towards the horse with flag and horse have to be very very relaxed on her muscles and her body and in her brain and before this and stay still control this emotion but before this was involved forward motion with body language voice command and energy so again forward motion and now trot 
So beautiful. So she had to travel right now for motion and be relaxed. So before when I educate Grace, I was with her shoulders all the time. Travel forward motion, travel forward motion. Not behind, with the shoulders all the time. So right now she got to this point, so she have to develop balance and coordination and travel around me when I stay still in the middle ground pen and be consistently in her forward motion. Because if I'm going to apply flag or I'm going to apply whip, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take emotions away from the horse and horse will going to travel confidence, I better say, confidence away from the horse and horse is going to travel forward only because horse is going to move away from the pressure using surviving instinct, nothing else. So we took round pen education and we transfer to in hand communication forward. So next step we're going to practice travel consistently to the left on trot and travel consistently to the right on trot. Again, my in hand communication will going to change my cue with my hand going to change, walk, trot, lope. So that's going to change. My energy of my shoulders going to change. And horse have to pick up the trot. So now we're going to ask Grace to travel to, the, travel to the right and the walk. And pick up the speed, pick up the trot. So again, my hand will going to change. My energy going to change. And she will going to travel to the, to the trot. Again, first of point. Again, she have to be very relaxed. Travel on the walk, do not right away pick up the trot, and now my energy was going to change, my cue was going to change, and horse have to travel around me on the trot. Beautiful. Brings the snows inside. So horse have to truly control emotion on the walk, trot, and lope with body language, voice, and energy. And after we educate the flag in the round pen, and after we're going to combine everything together. So first of all, I have to ask my horse travel forward motion when I point. She has to step away from me and travel around me on the, on the speed I desire from the horse. And when I'm going to apply the flag, she has to be very confident and, confident and she don't have to speed up. Right here, she's nice and relaxed, so she has to just walk nice and confident around me. Because again, like I said before, I'm going to ride my horse in the first time. I'm going to wave my hand around her head, change my reins, say hello to my friends. So they're going to trail ride. It's going to be a windy day. So horse have to be very, very confident. When she's confident on this side, we're going to change side, opposite side. And she also have to be very confident on this walk, not speed up and control her emotion. And like I said before, she just turned two years old and with time, when you're gonna educate her, she's gonna get better and better and better when she's gonna get older. Beautiful, very nice. So not afraid to wave your flag because Mother Nature not gonna, when we're gonna ride trail ride, Mother Nature not gonna move the trees very gently and slowly. If it's going to be windy, <laughs> then it's going to be windy. So it's very important. You wave your hand and this flag and horse have to travel and control that. Very nice. When, she's, when she accepts this flag on the walk, I'm going to stop, let her stay still. And she have to stay still in the open space again not to move left, right direction, back, come towards me. That's again ramp education. Horse have to learn how to stay still and not come towards me. Only when I ask horse to come towards me, horse allow. But I can walk towards the horse and horse have to be very confident with that. Beautiful, very good job. Relaxation, that's very important. Horse relax. Like you can see also, it's a fresh scent. I did not warm up the animal, a grace, and, and after start to show you um, her mental abilities, it's very important for me so you can understand that that's a, that's a fresh scent. Uh, we just drag arena, and I want you to see the actual reality, how she control herself. Beautiful, because it's very important for my clients my client see reality and I am not hide, hiding nothing behind the horse education. 
Beautiful, very good, David. So when we're done and walk, we're going to do exactly the same on the trot. Again, start from the walk point. Clock, she step away from us. Beautiful. And we're going to ask her to trot. Very nice. So horse have to control emotion not only on the slow speed, also in the fast speed. And travel and exactly speed I desire from the her. From her. Very nice. Continue travel. When she done this side, I'm gonna stop her. I say very good. Change direction. Again, start and walk. Relaxation, that's very important. And again, increase energy, increase energy, pick up the trot. Very nice. Travel around me, nice and relax. Beautiful. That's what I want to see. Not run away from me. Beautiful. Stop again right here. Change direction. Right here. Walk first. I always explain this. When you teach young horses like this, pick up different speed, you better start with previous speed because it's going to be, uh, how I can better say, immediate energy. And then, same like a human, right? You teach, horse, uh, teach human something and then you apply very fast and aggressive energy. Even you don't mean it to upset the human, then we kind of getting very nervous and we, we mentally upset. So exactly the same with animals. And when the mentally upset, we, we tight physically our muscles. So exactly the same with animals. When you start to educate trot, start from walk and go to trot. When you educate the lobe, start from the walk, trot and lobe. Again, point. And it's going to be much easier for horse to accept the cues also. Pick up the trot. Very nice. I'm going to use this flag. Have to be very nice and confident. And again, stop right here. Very nice. Change direction. Again, nice. Relax. Consistency. Again, point. My body language, my shoulder, my hand, my energy. So she have to understand all that. Beautiful. Very good. Very nice. Beautiful, baby. And stop right here. So that's a prime example. Fix your shoulders, please. So it's a prime example. If I will educate you in a round pen or in a launch line to travel with flag or with whip, I took confidence away. So when I already from the animal. So when I ask her to travel forward motion and apply the flag, then she's gonna use adrenaline. Her emotion is gonna rise up and she's gonna start to pull and run away. So I hope you understand the differences to educate horse with body language, voice command and energy, teach horse to stay still, accept the flag, and after combine forward motion with flag. Exactly the same when if you're gonna educate her travel with flag, you're already teaching her afraid from the moving objects. Moving it from this pressure. So when you're going to trail right and something's gonna to start to fly, then she's gonna to start to speed up because we teach her to move away from the <laughs> moving object. But that's just my philosophy, my theory, how I educate horses. And first of all, finish all education round pen by discovering my own methods and then I combine everything together. So now we're gonna actually move with grace left and right direction, change direction. Again, we took this from in hand communication. Remember, change direction, change direction. Continue trot, continue your trot. So I wanna have this lightness and this respond immediately. Right here, beautiful. It's all my, my body language right now, all my cues. If you, if you hear me, I don't use my voice command at all. It's all communication through the rope right now. That's why it's called this in hand communication. Very good. Continue travel. I'm gonna change direction right here. Very nice. Continue travel. 
it again. Beautiful. Change direction. I want to be very, very light with my hand communication. Respond immediately without getting and pulling my hand. Now we're going to take this exercise and we're going to apply change direction, change direction. You use the flare. Why I actually apply this exercise? One of the reasons, because when I'm going to mount the horse from opposite sides, I already pre preparing her mentally to control emotion when something moving from left side or from the right side of her body. So she can control herself when she sees from the left and right side moving object. Also, in the forward motion, why I apply this exercise? Because when I'm going to trail right or I'm going to go through the obstacles, Moving object is going to come from the left or from the right. One rider is going to come from the left, one rider is going to come from the right, or maybe from behind. Maybe tarp going to fly across the, across the field when a farmer forgot he is a plastic from the round bale. So when this accident happened to me, or my, my neighbor, he liked to shoot guns on his property, very loud sounds, and he using there are a lot of tarps and for his garden. So again, the tarp when I ride in beside his fence, the tarp's moving. So she have to control emotion, not fall apart when something moving around her when she travels in forward motion. Again, we're going to ask her to travel in forward motion right now. So first we'll walk. Very nice. And very nice, deliberate, not speed up. It's not about rollback, it's not about the moving fast, it's, a, it's about develop the confidence. Again, point, very nice. That's my goal. Continue using my flag, now change direction. Right here, pick up. So wherever I travel with her, she have to be confident and accept my cue. Beautiful. Change direction. Beautiful. Very nice. Continue travel. Very good, baby. Very good. Change direction. Right here. Very nice. Beautiful. Continue travel. Change direction. Very good. And we're going to use a flag, and she have to lop around us and be confident also on the lop. Beautiful. Stop right here, change direction. So again, if I will ask you to travel on this uh, fast speed on the lobe and start to use flag behind her to teach you travel on this speed with lobe, she will, she will be uh, getting upset and nervous. So my goal, she understand body language and travel with my body language, my voice, and energy, and then, and then I apply the flag. So she control emotion in the fast speed to control this loud sounds. 